babies. <laughs> oh. Hey guys, I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of what's going on here at the Torches Winter Bash. So BK Hobbies is here. They are the U.S. distributor for SAB products, and they've got the new Kraken. Oh, sorry, the Raw, the Goblin Raw. That's the 580 with the uh, bright colors. Limited edition Kraken. That's pretty cool looking. Well, there it is. There's the 580 up close and personal. Got those BK servos on there. The very bright color scheme. That color is orange, not red. It looks orange to me, much more than red. Although with that top color orange, it's more of a um, uh, more of a pure orange, and that's more like a neon orange. That's kind of how it presents. And the yellow is very bright too. That's a neon yellow. And then on that side, it's kind of a neon green. So they really threw the colors at that one. That's for sure. And as you walk through, these are all the pit stations, and you can see all kinds of helicopters. There's Rawls everywhere, Krakens everywhere. There's some Tron 7s, there's a Kraken 580. A couple more Rawls. This one's really cool. It's got this kind of Stormtrooper uh, design going on with the little, he even has a Stormtrooper right there on the landing, landing brace. Uh, that's really cool looking. I like that a lot. A little Oxy 5 down there, that's a Meg. Fury 57, a couple whiplashes, there's more Krakens, Spectre V2 right there, that's a Spectre V2, that's cool looking, canopy's off, but yeah, and they're flying too, man, there's three different, one way down there, down there, there's one right here, and there's another one down here where the scale guys fly. The Goblin Kraken, the orange scheme, I like that. Doing, sir? Good, how you doing? All right, all right. Good choice on the colors on that one. Love the colors. Yeah, me love too. The Pretty. Love I love SAB graphics, man. It's hard to beat them. That's why it makes me so distressed on what they did with that uh, raw 580. <laughs> That's look at that. I don't even know what that is. I'm sure you guys will tell me. Oh, it's a T-Rex 600. Look at that. <laughs> That's a little bit <laughs> That's a little bit dated, huh? Uh, metal side plates, interesting. Oh, look at that, a TX-16S. See? They're out there. Radio Master stuff is out there. These guys are all in line to take their turn flying. There's a nice blue and white roll. That's pretty. Like that. Another Synergy over there. Another raw. Two more raws, actually. Blue and yellow. Very cool. Some more SABs. There's a black Nitro, a 580, a black Thunder. I saw that one fly. That was pretty cool. There's a Gowie X5 over there. I do have some video of the Sheriff's helicopter flying. That's the Palm Beach County Sheriff's helicopter. That's a turbine. There's an Apache to go with it, which is really cool. It says Royal Netherlands Air Force. How about that? Yeah, that was really cool to watch, the Palm Beach County turbine. That was neat. I'll have some video on the channel for that. Very nice. All the scale stuff is down here. R22, look at the size of that Scorpion motor in there. Look, you can see that thing is huge. Looks like half a Coke can. I think that's a UH-1. I'm not sure. That's cool. There's a Bell Jet Ranger. And a couple of Coast Guard helicopters. That's neat. That one reminds me a little bit of the H-65 Dolphin, but I'm not sure what the make is on that. Very cool looking. Look at that, H60. Isn't that pretty? Hey y'all. Not bad. Really nice. Down here trying to push some 50 50 lottery tickets. You want to win some cash? Oh, that's all right. Everybody in my 
Very cool. Hey, I know that guy. <laughs> What's up, Fred? <laughs> oh, a T-Rex 600. There's a Tron 7. Another SAB Raw. Man, there's a lot of money in helicopters out here. Here's that new Strike, Rob. Rob found these. He posted some pictures online. Yeah, that's a new Strike. They got orange. They've got an orange one and a red one and a green one up there on the table. Looks pretty nice, man. They're nice looking helicopters. That canopy swoops way back. And check out that linkage right there. That arm, that, that linkage arm is directly all over the pivot point on the servo. And then the same thing back here, directly over that pivot point right there on the uh, tail pitch control. Pretty cool. More Black Thunders and helicopters everywhere. Logos. The mythical logo that you can't find online anywhere. That's the all plastic airframe on that one. All right, hey guys, I'm with Bert and Kyle here at uh, Again, the, the Orlando the it's the Torches Winter Bash event. Yeah. So I'm here with these guys. BK, BK sells, they're the U.S. distributor for SAB, right? SAB, yeah. And um, you're located here in Florida in Eustis. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Kyle, you're the, one of the team pilots yeah. for yes, SAB. We've seen all your videos, man. I watch all your stuff. We take your advice when we're building stuff out. So I know uh, everybody's been curious about this Raw 580, man. There's been a lot of, can you tell us? What can you tell us about it? We involved in the testing at all? Yeah, this is the first one that made it to the U.S. Uh, I just built it up last week and I've been flying it this week. It's awesome. It has the same rotor head and transmission from the Kraken 580, but it has all the design features of a typical RAW. So you got the skinny boom, the frames, but the canopy is removable on this one. But yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, I'm, I, I just got my first Kraken 580. I only made it last weekend and I was really nervous about it. So uh, I know all the guys, in fact, uh, on my Discord channel, a lot of us have been asking you know, I wonder when they're going to come out with a Raw 580. We've been hoping for it. There so, it a lot of interest in that helicopter. Absolutely. So, how do you like flying it? I know you do the big, big stuff, but how do yeah. you like flying that one? I like it. It's cool. It, yeah. it feels a lot like the 700, just smaller and a little bit more quick overall. A yeah. little more agile? A little more agile. And you're running that 12S, huh? That's 12S. That's yep. 2.6S 3300 batteries. 2.6S 3300s? Yep. And what size ESC did you set up? That's that a one? Hobby Wing 130. 130, perfect. Yeah. An X Nova motor. It would fly just fine with, uh, with the 6 success as yeah, well though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually would recommend success for most people to be honest with you. Yeah. Obviously this guy yeah. needs a twelve, but he's got a little bit of success. You had you had a five seventy uh five uh, the crack in five eighty with six S and you liked yeah. it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I saw that great. video, yeah. yeah. A lot more simple though, yeah. yeah. So yeah. yeah, good. Yeah. When do you expect like mainstream availability for They're these? not released. They will be released end of January of, of 20, January. 2022. So um, I think we're getting Pretty close to being ready to start accepting pre-orders and reservations because there's going to be probably less kids on the first batch than people wanting kids. Yeah. So you know we'll start pre-orders soon and then uh, yeah and then if you reserve one then you'll have it by the end of January. So and you know it, it does take time like it's like any other major release like it the world is tough. There's no secret about it. Yeah. You know this post-COVID era it just takes longer to manufacture, yeah. to ship, to import. So with the raw like it took like three months to get stable to where there was plenty of stock, right? right, right. So if somebody wants one, they need a pre-order either from us it, or any right. dealer, you know, yeah. they can go to a main hobbies, heli direct, Hellidrect. any dealer and pre-order uh, so they, they can get their first kit. If not, I'm guessing probably more like March before, you know, it's more widely available or you can just punch, you know, hit the button and order it and get it right away. Right. Yeah, so, cool, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, good. I know. I know our guys help run you out of stock on on your Black Friday sale. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, we were talking about it in Discord. We we're on that night. Everyone's going, where Where do we get the stuff? So nice. I know Very we help cool. run you guys out of stock oh, on that. Thank you for the support. Yeah, Appreciate yeah. it, man. Hey, thank man. You. We I love SAB stuff. I mean, I, I think they're absolutely beautiful and a uh, very high opinion of them. They're just world-class products. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful to put together. Uh, it's a real experience the way they box them, too. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They, they have a very, very nice, like, presentation yeah. manual yeah, yeah yeah oh the manual is awesome yeah, yeah. and yeah. the presentations you saw you just don't get that with other stuff right? yeah. in fact when i do my unbox videos on the on the sab i kind of make a thing of it you know yeah. saying yeah. check this out it's, it's like funny the the first goblin ever released was or in the spring of 2012 right uh -huh. and i was i was working for sab at that time and like I remember people that would see it they would look at they would look at it before it was released and say that's never gonna that's weird. That's never going to be successful. That's 
That's ugly. Because back in the day, it was a line or Raptor or all these other brands, right? And look at where they came. They were oh, yeah. a very innovative company, so very yeah. cool stuff. Yeah. No. I'm personally, I'm not sure about the graphics on the wall. I was kind of hoping for the straight yellow. Uh, I'm not a fan either, but, yeah. you know, they'll be, they'll be canopies. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. 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 Like, I mean, if you look at the, the raw 700 right there, yeah. that's the stock canopy, the yellow one. Uh -huh. But you can get, nowadays you can get what? You can get the orange, like, right behind you. Yeah. You can get a blue. Pink. You can get a pink. Like There's that white stormtrooper one over there. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, and they're within reason relatively inexpensive they're cheaper canopies than the original goblin canopy yeah. you know that yeah so, all right cool yeah, yeah cool so hey kyle um i'm i'm new and a lot of people have followed me we're amateurs right so we don't we don't do this yet um what advice would you have for people getting started what like uh, what tips would you give just practice and fly as much as you can don't take watch time smack on, talk videos watch smack talk videos yeah, smack talk video <laughs> yeah. yeah don't walk we do away watch from it, it. Yeah. you know if you get discouraged just keep going at it because if you walk away then you know skills diminish and then you got to work back to where you were before so sick time right don't give up yeah. keep going I've, I've got like over 3,000 flights in fixed wing. I'm an wow. instructor on fixed wing. You know, I yeah. that world I have down pretty well. Yeah. And uh, that's the same advice I give too on the You got to do this time, right? Gotta be there. Gotta you got to get do the time. That's yeah. great advice. So. And you got to take yourself out of your comfort zone. Yes. Because if you're always there, you're never going to improve, right? So, yep. yeah. Yep. And Absolutely. it's going to cost you money. I'm yep. sorry. Like it's yep. like anything else. You got to crash. Yep. You're not crashing, you're not learning. You're not pushing. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah, Definitely. I agree. Simulator. That simulator, yeah. Simulator. Yeah. 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 We're in AccuRC all the time on our, our in our Discord on Friday nights. I got a live show, and a lot of times on Friday nights, we get on Discord, fire up the simulator, and we all sit in there, and, yeah. you know, we I'm BS. a firm believer that if you use the simulator and you set the wind really high and make it difficult, yeah. when you come out to the field, if you master something in the simulator, you come to the field, you should be able to do it. As long as you do it two mistakes high, you know, and you're kind of cautious and you work out a bailout plan. Yes. That's the most important part. Yeah, you're yeah. trying a new maneuver. Think of how you're going to bail out of that if you don't feel comfortable with yeah, it. Yeah, that's so. good advice too. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Well, very good, guys. I appreciate taking the time to talk with me. It's good to meet you, Kyle. Yeah, Thank you. It's good to meet you, man. Yeah, like RC Video you. Reviews, you guys check me out. And, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I already watch all your stuff. So <laughs> we appreciate your effort uh, supporting the community and putting videos out there. Keep up the great work. and. Tell SAB to keep bringing the stuff, man, because yeah, we yeah. love it. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I love their hardware. It's good stuff. Yeah. Take Thank it easy, guys. Good to meet you.
that's pretty cool. Huh? No, you don't know. <laughs> I heard the guy, the owner, talking to that his uh, spotter. Fifteen grand is what he has now, give or take. <laughs> Neat. the Tron 7. Anybody here flying scorpion? Anybody who's flying scorpion come up to the uh, center stage? We got some free giveaways from scorpion and from Mikado up here.
I can't even see it. There it is. <laughs> Man, he goes so far up, it's hard to see even with a naked eye. Forget the camera. I can't see it. There it is. Man, he goes up there. That's an auto. <laughs> nice. Oh, very cool. An Apache. Beautiful. Can't believe how quiet that thing sounds.
<laughs> These are a lot easier to film than those 3D helicopters, I can tell you that. Very cool model. Oh yeah, man, that's cool looking. Very nice. Very nice, beautiful. Oh, very cool. Neat. <laughs> that's a nice model. <laughs> There's the raw 580. Kyle's gonna fly it. Probably be the last video of the day, too. First one in the U.S. guys i hope you enjoyed the footage from the orlando uh, torches winter bash make sure if you like this kind of content to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when new videos hit the channel so watch kyle wrap this up and that'll be it for today wow amazing Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.